Joe Clean, Southern Hospitality, February 15, 1990, 182. The driver pulls away from Wingfield and returns to the rough gravel that leads first to Pothole Macadam and then the asphalt ring road where he turns left, travels perhaps 1,000 meters, and then heads back up the hill along another Macadam rough and ready goat trail from which the minibus has just descended. Romney Manor appears on the left. The driver pulls into an official as opposed to makeshift parking lot and pulls the bus to the curb. Excuse me, Justin asks from his seat, is it... My imagination, or did we just travel about a mile to get from your last stop to this one, even though they're, like, right next to one another? The driver laughs and says, very good eye. And no, it is not your imagination. Romney Manor and Wingfield Estate are adjacent to one another and sit back to back. They were established by the same family. The road we took up to Wingfield was created to access the manor in its infancy, and later this road was created to access what we call Romney Manor. Wingfield was the first successful establishment of the English invaders on our island. John and Samuel Jefferson, along with Thomas Warner, pushed aside the native Kalinago and, of course, brought in hundreds of slaves to work the land. John Jefferson's son Christopher was the force behind establishing Romney Manor. Christopher also transitioned from indigo, which was an established money-making crop, to sugarcane. In the late 1600s, a pair of terrible storms wreaked havoc on the estate, and Christopher returned to England, and even though he retained ownership of the land, over time it became known as Romney Manor. Wow, Kelsey says. You really know your stuff, huh? Were you a guide here? Is this part of your bus driver training? <laughs> the driver exclaims. He's like, neither. As a kitty, and we learned these things in school, just as you learned that your Thomas Jefferson sired children with his enslaved mistress, Sally Hemings. I'm sorry, what? Kelsey asked. Thomas Jefferson, your third president. Certainly they teach you this in school. Not in any school I ever went to, and I went to school just outside D.C. Curious, the driver says, checking his watch. I thought everyone knew this. So wait, Kelsey replies, perplexed. Are you telling me that Thomas Jefferson and the Jeffersons here were related? That is an excellent question. The names are spelled differently and the pronunciation varies as well. Here we have the Jeffersons and you have the Jeffersons. And there is speculation but no certainty regarding consanguinity. Were you not taught about your colonial past in the United States as we are here in St. Kitts? Well, it's news to me, Kelsey says with a shrug. I just know him as our third president and author of the Declaration of Independence and all that. I had no idea that he even had a mistress. Uh, excuse me, the woman who sits directly behind the driver says, but there are children present. Perhaps you could table your talk of M-I-S-T-R-E-S-S-E-S's for a later time. Ah, yes, ma'am. Absolutely, the driver replies. We will have a bit of a longer drive to Clay Villa Plantation. Mr. He ends as a question to Justin. Justin, Justin Clean, and your name? Sholto Douglas. It's an old family name, he says with a smile as he pulls away from the curb.